honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, welcome to Wig Wednesday, and I'll be reviewing this cutie here. I had this wig years and years ago. When I first started wearing wigs, it's called Amber. It's by Otre. It's a half wig. And then I had bought another one because the first one, it wasn't like it was supposed to be. I'm thinking it was something somebody had bought and sent back. So this is what she looks like. Amber, and I have a daughter named Amber. I have it in the color 1B. Like I said, it's a half wig. It's all upside down. This is what she looks like. Curly, curly wavy. Okay, it has a long comb at the top, like Otre wigs do. It has another long but shorter comb at the back with the tag. Two adjustable straps. Light and airy wig cap. And a half wig will fit anybody's head, but it's still stretchy. Okay. And it's in layers. I haven't done anything to this wig. I haven't put anything on it. So I always wear a headband with the half wigs. So I'm going to wear my jelly headband where I used to wear years ago. Well, up until everybody was wearing cloth headbands. Let me tuck this braid under. I just got my own hair combed back and braided and tucked under. Put the headband on first. I turn it inside out because it has teeth. I don't want these teeth to snag my hair, so I turn it inside out. Put it on first. Turn it around. Okay. This says self styled in 60 seconds. Quick weave. Yeah, I got my silver edges, but that's okay. I don't expect nobody that's almost 70 to have jet black hair, unless it's from a bottle. So I'm okay with this. And it will work with the headband. Like I said, I use bobby pins. I use these long bobby pins to secure half wigs. Pull it up close. Bobby pin it at each ear and I angle the bobby pin downward. And make sure it's not be able sticking out. Make sure it ain't sticking out. Cause it's long. Pull that ear out. Do the same thing for the other side. Pull it close to the ear. Secure it. Oh, that don't feel right. Okay. Pull the headband up. No, I still feel this. I don't like any discomfort. Okay. Pull this up. Put this headband to cover up that weft. And I'm good to go. Now, I can flip some over. By being layered, it flips over nicely. without it being in my face. I think I'm gonna pin it. Now I need a short bobby pin or a short hair pin. So 
but so the wind don't blow this. I want it to stay flipped. Okay, angle that so it don't move. And I could have just turned the wig sideways so it have a little side action going on. Okay, this is Amber Quick Weave. And it looks totally different on me than it looks on her. So here's the thumbnail. I'm trying to stay out the glare from my ring light. Okay. Let me show you how it looks in the back. Okay, now well, to the front. Right side. Back. I didn't measure it. This bra length. And the left side. So it's nice and curly, layered curly, bouncing and behaving hair. And I don't worry about the silver edges. I used to, I don't anymore. Uh, people know that's where you gray first anyway, around the front and the edges. So, so this is my Wig Wednesday review of Otre Amber. It's a quick weave in the color 1B. Y'all see the ring light? So I want to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Me and Walter about to hit the streets. I'm going to come back and do my nails. This is what they look like now. I'm going to cut them. Because when they get this long, they start splitting and everything. So I'm going to cut them. I'm going to cut them short. And I like wearing gel polish now where I have to put my hands under the lamp because this will last three weeks or longer until I get tired of my hair getting caught under my nail. When they start to grow out, the hair gets caught right under there. But anyway, it's about wigs. Uh, Y'all be blessed. Okay, I'll leave the link for this wig in my description box. I got it from Amazon. Okay. Bye.